Legend of Total War here with part 48 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously we've been dealing with the, um, the Saka Rauka. They've been a pain in the ass around here at Chak. They seem to be recruiting a fuck ton of soldiers. Um, I'm not sure if this is where they're getting their, their early Saka nobles from. But whatever the case is, we're going to take Chach, or not Chach, uh, Chiku off them now. And, um, well, there's just one settlement that they're not going to have. Or one more settlement that they can't have. But Chach is by far the most difficult one to take. We lost a general, um, relieving, lifting the siege at one of the forts. But, he died for absolute bullshit reasons. Uh, he... He charged into archers and died. So, that was really unlucky. Even for EB, which, you know, generals are quite sturdy usually. But, wasn't the case for him. Okay, now we're only up against the general's bodyguard this time. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Once again, I'll use this guy to try and, um, just soak up as much ammunition as possible. So this is a little technique here about being in loose formation and in pike formation at the same time. I sort of got that from Prince of Macedon when I fought him a few days ago. Which, for you guys, might have been ages ago because I have pre-recorded the shit out of this. Because, um, yeah, they just... Not only are they armoured, but now it's going to be harder to hit them. Or maybe I should just charge in and kill the motherfucker. Problem is though that even in melee they're very tough. I have an idea. Let's let's just fucking charge. Like I said, I want to throw these guys away as well. You come in here as well. If we can manage to surround him, that'll certainly be useful. You come in as well. gonna bonsai this one. So he's on his way back. Yeah, like I said, I want to cut him off from the town square. Now, I'm risking my general a little bit, my faction leader, but I feel like my faction leader will be fine. If anyone's gonna die, it's gonna be him. That's just his son, he's not even very good anyway. Hurry up and come around this way, you stupid cavalry. They're still shooting us. Bastards. Whatever. Are you in any danger there? You're in moderate danger, I'd say. Can you get over here as well? We're sort of kicking their ass. We've got more men in them by about 12. Just in this area at the moment. Plus we're going to bring in these guys as well. If we can have them shoot a few javelins at these guys. To be honest, I don't doubt it's going to do much damage. But still. They don't seem to be fighting. They're more interested in shooting. Which it's fine by me because we're killing them. He was supposed to go around the other way, but whatever. Don't use your javelins then. Get over here. We should have met here ages ago, you slipper. And shoot him. Oh, now they're shooting you, okay, don't do that. Get into the melee then. And now we've got him completely surrounded. Good, he's getting wrecked. I want to kill them all. I hate them all. 
good, and we lost less men than they did, which is good considering, you know, what they had there. It's, it's, there's almost no circumstance in which you can get the better of them, except by, you know, surrounding them and breaking them. And I want to enslave the population. Very nice. Now, how's the public order? It's not too bad, actually. Good. They've been walking for quite some time. That's why their belts were tightened. But it's a good thing that, you know, our faction leader was a reasonable general. Okay. Now I'm going to press M here and merge all my forces or whatever. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Yes. So then. Well, there's no one else out this way. So we don't need to go scout out there. These do really seem like to be their last two settlements should be fantastic if that is the case. I need you to stay out here just to see if any anyone comes out this way. Alright, Chihu. Let's have a look. So, nomadis nomadism. Keep that. Don't need this. Don't need, don't need this. Keep that. Good, that's Artigatus. That's always good. Hunting grounds, get rid of it. Keep that because that's... The law, and that's that's allowing us to build this. Um, bards tend to keep it and keep that. All right. So the settlement's in reasonable shape. So what we can destroy this. Well, we are getting some some trade resources of it. So why destroy it? Well, apart from the fact that it's nomad, that's fine. All right then. What are we going to do here? I guess first thing we should do is build that because. There's a lot of people here, and we're going to need to leave the garrison if we want to leave. Which, of course, he will need to at some point. I'll probably end up sending him over here, because I think we can... Well, well, we'll just wait and see him. We're thinking too far ahead at the moment. And I think that was the last thing I needed to do this turn. Oh, it's also given me enough money to, uh, to go and construct some more stuff. So Nisa has public order issues. What are we going to do for Nisa? There's nothing here we can do. Alright, so... Yeah, I built that. So there's no need to upgrade. It's not going to give us any more public order. That will help because that will get rid of culture penalty. Just seeing what else there might be. I probably want to get rid of that at some point. Yeah, right, just build that. Unfortunately, it's a, a very expensive building that's not really going to yield much in terms of actual money. Okay, Ipsos, where's that? Over here. There's no reason why we can't tax this fully. Oh, no, I'll leave it at high taxes. Alright, um, more farming's fine because the pub. Um, Public order is fine. Bostra. Okay, we have issues here. We definitely need to build our temples up. And now we're out of money again. That's okay. Let's move on to the next turn. Oh, don't tell me I forgot to, like... Yeah, I forgot to move them. It's alright. Oh, so they've gone back to Gava, but oh god, they come back here as well. We are under siege. That's okay. It's a good thing we took out the majority of our forces there. Fuck off! I can defeat that. We are besieged. Alright, 
If I land you here, how long will it take you to get back to Charax? Yes, sir. Because I know I saw a ship around here somewhere. Alright, so this has still got how much longer? Six seasons. So this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just in time. We'll see if we can still get this ship to. You know, if we can get him from here to here, for example, maybe that might be better. I don't know. We'll see if we can get it. There's too many fucking pirates around. And it's too expensive to bloody try and get rid of them. Because you get rid of them and then they just fucking come back. Yes. Best off ignoring them sometimes. Okay, there's the settlement. Good, and you make it to Homna. Finally, regroup with them. Alright, so this settlement's under siege again. I don't know why they, they lifted it in the first place. But, that gives us two turns to possibly get rid of, um, get rid of them. Which isn't much. Uh, let's see here. My lord. Sir. Okay, so what we're doing here is My creating lord. a bunch of really crappy units here that we could possibly use in a fort. Sir. I want these guys to, to come down here and help. This, they'll be stuck there for a little while. Yes. No point trying to save that. God, I need to get to Chach. Okay, can we take Sulek this turn? Yep. Oh, we'll do that in just a moment. So they've got their... They must be recruiting early Saka nobles from here. So it'll be good to get rid of them there. But the main reason why I want to... You know... Take this before they take it. Because otherwise, I have to come all the way down here to get rid of them. If we take this and their, their forces turn rebel. And we don't have to worry about them anymore. I really need to know what they've got in here. My Lord, this guy's pretty good. On my way. On my way. But I reckon if I told him to jump in there, he'll die. Just because I have very bad luck with that kind of shit. So what have they got here? They have got to be recruiting early Saka nobles from here. There's no other explanation for the, the sheer amount of these motherfuckers that are here. I'm just wondering what we should do. Because, you know, we've got a reasonable amount of troops here. Why don't you sell you out? And just, we'll just have a look at what they've got. Yeah, it's, it's even stronger than the previous one we had to fight. Except for the fact that there's no generals in there. So, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, it's not, because there's only four, but before we had to fight five. Where did the other ones go? Don't tell me that we're fucking retrained. No, they're right here. Maybe you should have sent him around here with these guys. Yes, Stratigos. So, okay, yes, I want you to come and stand back here. Because it's not going to fit inside the fort. This here doesn't concern me, they're not going after Kiva itself. Alright, so let's take Sulek. Odds are 3 to 1, that's great. How much influence does this guy have anyway? Oh yeah, he'll be fine. Alright, so we've got the faction leader and two, uh, three early Saka nobles. Definitely will be great to wipe these motherfuckers off the face of the planet.
victory is near at hand. Oh, I hate the soccer so much. I don't even know any racist slurs to throw at them because I don't even know what fucking race they are. I don't know if they're Chinese or what. Mongolian or who knows what these. I don't know. Squinty eyed fucks are. I don't even know if they're squinty eyed. They can't call someone squinty eyed if they're not squinty eyed. I just want to be racist towards these motherfuckers. Alright. Elisaka Nobles over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send these guys just to bonsai, just go straight in there, rather than get into a, into a skirmish, which probably isn't really to our advantage because these guys are so well armoured. That being said, if we lose a few guys here and there, it's, it's not really the end of the world. Even though we are technically at the end of the world. Which isn't technically at the end of the world either. Because the world is round. Well, they're shooting these guys instead of the archers, which I suppose is alright. So, not really fussing if we take lots of casualties, because all, all of these guys here can replace, except for, you know, them. Get them back. I think that was actually a bit of a mistake doing that. So what's this here? That's their, that's their armored noble. They're fucking being stupid about it. Oh, well, like I said, I don't really rely on them too much. We've got... These guys here. These guys here by themselves will be able to win this. And of course, a full volley from like a thousand archers kills no one. Do these guys have two hit points by any chance? No. They just got a lot of armor. fuck's sake, I'm just going to send in the pikes, because this is, it's just kind of like bullshit, watching these guys buddy shoot at them. Problem is, these guys can't be retrained out here, I've got to send them very long distance to get retrained. But that being said, we don't really need them to be retrained out here. If we win here, then there's nowhere further for them to go, they will be going back home after this. Well, as soon as the settlement's under control, which will take them about 50 years. You guys are better off shooting this one here, because his armor is just un impenetrable. Because they don't have as much um, armor. Alright, get those pikes down, and let's start fighting. Possibly these guys actually ran out of ammo. Now, it's a good thing we had overwhelming force, because this battle is going actually really bad. Like, we're sort of getting our ass handed to us. Look at this guy, he's absolutely fucking wrecking pikemen. And my pike formations are, you know, they're not being stupid about it this time. Thank fuck, because if they were, we'd truly be wrecked. Oh well. Like I said, it's about getting rid of these guys as a faction. I don't necessarily need these armies once, once the Sakura Uka are dead. Make sure you're close by, because otherwise these guys are going to break.
Where are you going? That's right, you gotta, you gotta get to the road first. Take the longest possible way to get somewhere. These guys are here. What the hell's wrong with you, moron? Well, whatever, I don't even care if they die. They're easily replaceable, even out here. Not necessarily in this settlement, but I go back to the other region and can retrain them. Hang on, hang on, General. Do not get killed. If you get killed, we can't maintain public order here, so be very careful. Just keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's alright. How are we going over here? Uh, I guess it's starting to be stupid. I don't really want to capture the town square, I'd rather just kill them all. It's kind of stupid how even pikes can't kill these things. It's the definition of overpowered. The bodyguards get killed, but the general himself needs to live. There's only seven of them left, they can't last too much longer. When you guys get into position, don't get into this stupid blob where you just walk to your destination like idiots. Which is exactly what they're doing. Whatever. I mean, we're guaranteed to win, we really can't lose at this point. But still, I don't want to lose. My entire army. Got to maintain public order after all. Oh no, I want to kill them all. I won't be satisfied till every last one of these fucking losers are dead. Now, do you guys have the aim of a fucking blind person? With dementia and Down Syndrome. Oh, wait, that, that, was, that was terrible, but whatever. The problem is, you know, their units are so far above any, anything that we can bring. Um, this is why we have to get rid of them. Because what happens if they get an army reform and they get even better units? Best put these guys down now, get rid of them entirely. Because once they're gone, they can never come back. Oh no, that's not good. I thought the public order would at least be okay. Is it possible to repair both of these? No, it's not. So why is one okay and the other one isn't? One's Western Greek, the other's Nomad. Um, alright, so we got Royal Camp here, destroy this. All of this court, get rid of it. Damn it, what are the problems here? I mean, if we really need to, we can adjust the capital a little bit closer, but that would be... It's not really going to help much. So, what should we do? Should we build a simple drainage? No, we're going to need Artagatas, I think, because it provides, you know, a lot more public order. So, if we repair that, apparently the law goes to 15. Why is that? What, does it repair both of these or something? Because that'd be good. I think that's bullshit, though.
Apparently it does. Alright, well... I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, no, I think we're better off going with um, Artigardus. Actually, no, I think we're better off getting this. Because that'll give us the same amount of lore. But that only, that only takes one turn. So with... Let's just assume worst case scenario. That it's not actually going to be 15. It's going to be 10% extra lore. So that'll bring us to 65%. One extra 5% lore gone down from that. So that'll bring us to 70%. That's not too bad. Now, can we leave this settlement? Yeah. Because I don't want them standing in there about to get re um, revolt on them. Because there's a good chance he might die. Alright, so just leave behind... Just one of these gimp losers. So yeah, public order goes down to 0%, but we'll get back in there next turn. And hopefully save it. If we can't if we can't get it at least to 75% or even 70%, I'll adjust the capital. Because we cannot let this revolt back into their control. Just because of, you know, bullshit distance to capital and unrest problems. Especially since we're so close from defeating these guys. I mean, I would love to just be able to send these forces over here and take Chach, but I just. they just won't succeed. Now, I probably shouldn't have done that shit on that battle, because these guys really could be quite beneficial in maybe coming over here and winning, because these pikes are, are, are decent against the. Um, against their horse archers, if nothing else, just to block shots. Yes, master. Moving. Yes, master. Moving. Doesn't seem like there's too many Saka motherfuckers out this way. Anyway, we've still got two turns until they make that attack. Now, our guy that's here, will he be able to leave soon? Probably not. Not for a little while yet. I mean, every time we build up a temple, it certainly does help. Alright, what else? Oh, that's right, this this bullshit over here. My lord, destroy them. So he, he has another son here now. It'll be good for him to get some experience. Alright, so what are we up against? It's not much, we, we should be able to shoot these guys. But what I reckon is going to happen is we're going to sally out. These guys are going to come into the fight and then they're going to leave straight away. Just being a total nuisance. What I'll do is I'll send out my cavalry to try and run these guys down if possible. But then again, it's always a chance that I'll get my generals killed. Oh, well, generals are a dumb dozen. Just don't lose this guy, I suppose. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is grab everyone and just dump them right there. Now, these guys here, put them here. Ah, fucking slingers always taking up, wanting to take up too much space. Um, you come here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. So they can't shoot at them. Oh, well. Anyway, come on out. Because obviously, it makes sense, you know, shooting them. So their reinforcements are coming from over here. Like I said, I reckon if we get a few volleys in on them, they'll just piss off. Making this a complete waste of time. You three, come on out, because if they run, I want to hit them in the ass as best we can. Okay, best you go out on your own, because you have a habit of shooting our own troops. Yeah, see, there they go. Fucking losers. Pricks. Alright. You guys get in quickly, quick. Um, we'll try and slow them down so we can get a few shots on all of them. 
Why do they even bother besieging a settlement if they're not going to bring sufficient troops? Yeah, here's a good idea. I'm going to besiege a full stack of professional units with a good general inside of it with a bunch of levy garbage. Because I like to be a nuisance. Oh, well, it's not as bad as Total War Attila. Hurry up. Getting out run by bloody arch um, infantry. Do not let them get away. If they get away, I'm going to be really pissed off at you. You fucking slow cunt. What a waste of time this entire battle was. This wasn't even a battle. Stupid bitches. Fuck off. I'm going to fucking murder you, you fucking Epirot cunts. One kill. What was the point of this? I'm going to butcher every last man, woman, and child that calls himself an Epirot. Like an Epirot in the fucking ground. Victory and honor. All right, I think it's time to take Pella. So let's see how we're going to do this. This guy's more, got more influence. He'll be better at it, I suppose. This guy's going to... Hang on, let me just see if he does actually need to stay. So if we leave him behind... The public order is not great. But of course... There's no garrison bonus. So if... If one unit wants to stay behind, maybe use some of these. That They're kind of useless. Jeez, that was almost enough. There we go. Good. Just leave that under control there. And he will he can be the governor of this settlement. Because he's just some shitty kid. What I should do... Send these guys over there to assist. With uh, governance. Now then. Oh shit. I've already fought three fucking battles. Captain Titus. Prick. Um, there's a chance that this will open up the gates as well. If we can get in there, they've got a lot of troops nearby. How how big is the gate and uh, the the walls? So it's tier two, I think. Hang on. No, no, it's tier one. Because wooden palisade, then it's wooden walls. Okay. So that's going to be easy to shoot over. Alright, I also need to get to Demetrius because we want, want to finish off the walls here. The walls in Greece are so much easier than the walls in the east. Alright, we've got ourselves way more of these than we actually need. But he doesn't need to stay here. Okay, so how many do we need to send over here? Firstly, let's fix that up a little bit. Good, it's under control. Yeah, very good. Alright, um... These guys are in my way, but it doesn't make any difference. We wouldn't have been able to make it to Demetrius anyway. Come over here, make sure we build a fort. Now, are you able to get inside the settlement? No, you are not. Not even close. Now, I do want to fight this. I'm just worried it's going to cause a crash. But it's such a small-scale battle against a force that we've technically already fought before. So, I'm going to risk it. I mean, we're only half hour into this, which isn't that bad. If it does crash. 
It's the worst when you, like, lose out on, like, an hour's worth of footage. And anyway, if it does crash, then it just means I get to do that shit battle again at... Now, lads, whatever. Time to be a better business. Not that I want to do it again. I don't. I'm content with how it went down. Okay. Now, I'd like to shoot these guys as much as possible. To try and minimize overall casualties. These guys really need to be out on their own, because they make the place look really fucking untidy. Two different density units. I just don't like the way it looks. I do like to keep my guys somewhat uniform. Just for this small scale battle, but they're in, in my way. They're in my way, and they need to die. Hang on, hang on. These guys are charging in on us. You shoot them. Don't let them come to us because they'll. They've got javelins of their own. Okay, shoot them. Shoot them in the back. Get back, do as you fucking told, bitch. Morons, every one of you that died is your own fucking fault. Rotten hell, you piece of shit. It's one thing I can't stand, it's insubordination. Break the motherfuckers. Anyway, these aren't just suck anyway. They're reloading. Okay, you're gonna have to get back. Shoot them. Get back over there. Probably could use flaming rounds to, to break them, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, but they're broken. Until those guys are fire, stop firing at will, I want them to shoot targets that I tell them to shoot at. Javelins, I wouldn't be at all concerned about them. But they do. Doesn't matter if they don't come back. Or if they do. Fuck off. Yeah, you chase after them. They're, they're shaking anyway, it should be easy to kill them. Decent charge, and they're broken. Okay, I wouldn't worry about them anymore. Okay, 
they don't know what to do now. I'll charge into them in a moment. Let's keep shooting them in the meantime. We've got plenty of ammo. Okay, three more percent and we're at 85 percent and they're wiped out okay you two uh, you lot don't need to keep shooting now all right that'll do they're wiped out Now you need to get into a f yes, fucking can't get into a fort. So. Well, that sucks. Well, I don't want any mercenaries. Then again, he's he's two units out from being at um, full strength. He'll need some more troops from somewhere. Then again, we've got two right here. Well, when he comes yes, back, I'll send him back with some more. Because if you remember, two of our units got bribed over there, bastards. Yes, sir. Leaving the army. Okay, you should be safe around here. My lord. Ships ready. Still, I don't want to leave ships them out on the ships. It's too risky. They're, those ships are too easy to sink. Public order here is good, but then again, we've got so many goddamn troops here. We've got the Getai up this way, who are not really a big concern for us right now. Alright, so we've still got 33,000 to spend. Probably not going to cover all settlements, because it seems like a lot of the settlements are now... The buildings that we need to build are costing more. See, that kind of costs a bit. Where's this? I just go with that instead. Good. It's always good to see when a settlement is, you know, gets to the next level. Makes them a hell of a lot better. Where's this? The public order here is not great. I'm just wondering whether or not to build this or that. That's not that much more expensive, so we'll go with the extra law. Okay, Marikanda. We've still got this that we can build, and that will provide a bit of money, but that's not the only thing to take into consideration. So that doesn't make it any better. Um, over here, we can get Persian Archer Spearmen. They're not too bad. What are we going to do with Marikanda? Or what about a Chalkion? Wasn't I building one of those down here? Yeah, I did. There you go. I know the public order here is still not fantastic, so maybe we should just continue building up on, on the public order. The population growth is really very high. So it'll grow soon. So it's already just grown. ASAC. Keep going with that. That'll provide an extra 10% public order. Axum has low public order. Alright, so... Axum needs to recruit more troops then. To maintain public order. What's the problem there? Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Um, 
Good, we managed to build something in every settlement, I think. Good, but we've, we don't have much money left over, though. But our income does seem to be increasing, because we keep taking more settlements, and our armies also keep getting a bit beaten up. I think if these guys attack us during the end turn, we'll be fine. Because we've got a professional army here. Uh, somewhat. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Okay, good. Nothing bad happened during the the end turn. All right, almost forgot about this. Ah, uh, damn it! If anything, the center was more damaged now than it was before. Well then, at least. <clears throat> That is going to make things tricky. You're going to have to stay in there this turn. I will not... I refuse to let it um, revolt. Okay, it's actually not that bad. 65% not that bad. Because we get this and it goes to 70%. And... That doesn't do anything. And that gives us back 10% law. Might as well do that. So yeah, we shouldn't have to, um, we shouldn't have to adjust the capital either. I mean, they're going to be stuck here for a while. Obviously, the public order is not great, but it should be fine. They gave up on this. Tell me they gave up on this one here. No, they didn't. Oh, piece of shit. And they built the siege equipment, haven't they? Motherfuckers. All right. Are we going to be able to take Chach this turn? Ah, no way in hell. Given what we've got here, it's just not possible. And I don't even think we can reach it. Hang on a second. If you were to besiege the settlement, we could fight this army out in the field by itself and then deal with the rest later. We could possibly do it. And if we did, because they brought some more guys down here, so we don't have to deal with them, we can possibly take Chach this turn. We'll have to do is like a reverse draw out and just deal with these guys first. Which, that's not that big of a deal. We, we can deal with that. Alright, but I'm not going to do it this episode because we're already up to 50 minutes. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe. Part 49, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.